Hey guys, it's Christmas Gin here, right here on Conagin TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, I wanted to go over um, a Christmas gift guide for all you last minute Christmas shoppers out there uh, who are shopping for the geek in your life. Uh, I've got three stories here. Uh, that all revolve around either Christmas time or winter. Uh, the first of which is the final night. This is a four part story. Let's go ahead and spread them out here. Which involves a sun eater coming and devouring Earth's sun. It, caught, it sends the whole world into total darkness, uh, a lasting winter, and <clears throat> the Justice League are forced to cope with it. Uh, this would show, this would be the redemption of Hal Jordan. Oh, I'm sorry. This would be the redemption of Hal Jordan after becoming the villain Parallax. Uh, he would sacrifice himself to reignite the sun. Uh, this story does eventually directly lead into Green Lantern Rebirth. Um, which shows Kyle Rayner traveling to uh, the sun. I, I think it's the sun. I could be wrong. Uh, but getting the body of Hal Jordan out of the sun um, and this is immediately followed up by uh, the funeral for Green Lantern uh, which is another comic I have that I've gone over before but I may go over again at some point I will do a proper review of this uh, maybe actually maybe not an actual review maybe I'll do a uh, tell the story of the final night uh, in my own words like I've been doing with Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash and some of the other comics. Uh, but it's a great story that really dives into uh, characterization. Uh, you have Superman who's losing his power without the uh, uh, son's ability to gr uh, give him his powers. And it's got a number of tie-ins. You've got Final Night Superman, Final Night Action Comics, Final Night Batman, Green Lantern, Flash, all that. Uh, but these, this is the main story. And every character you see on the cover here is actually a part of the story. Uh, unlike many other comics where they just throw characters in there that maybe make a cameo or... Uh, aren't even really a part of the story everything you see on the covers is actually in the comics so that's cool um, so anyway that's the final night very good story uh, and if you or whoever you're shopping for for Christmas like this story then the follow-up to it Aside from Funeral of Green Lantern, would be Day of Judgment. Day of Judgment is a five-issue miniseries, which sees Hal Jordan further his redemption after sacrificing himself to reignite the sun. Uh, he eventually becomes the Spectre. Uh, I went over this. Uh, Way back at the very beginning of Comic Geddon, uh, almost two years ago, I may do a full on review of it uh, in the future. Maybe even a uh, story uh, telling the story of it like I've done before. Uh, but this is a very good series as well. You guys ought to check it out or pick it up for the geek in your life. It is a five issue mini series. Up next, we have Batman Noel which I did do a video on last Christmas. Uh, we have a Christmas playlist on our channel. If you want to check that out, look for the Christmas playlist. 
We've got plenty of videos on there for you guys. Um, great story. I wanted it for quite a while. It's pretty much Batman told in the way of A Christmas Carol. It's by Lee Bermejo. Um, it doesn't really have the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Instead, it has DC characters which represent the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Uh, and then you have the Joker in the background. You have, which actually I believe the Joker represents the ghost of Christmas future. I could be wrong, but I think the Joker does represent the ghost of Christmas future. And one of his henchmen who's trying to reform uh, it takes on the role of Bob Cratchit. You got Superman, you've got Catwoman, you know, um, it, it's a really good story, a uh, very original story, and it's done in the same style of artwork as, you know, this, the Saturday Evening Post, uh, very Norman Rockwell-ish style art. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I wanted it for years. My wife bought it for me for Christmas a few years back, and that brings me to... Uh, if you like this story or the geek in your life likes this story, then I would suggest picking up The Joker with art by Lee Bermejo. Uh, this is more of a realistic interpretation of The Joker. Uh, Joker just got out of prison. Uh, Harley Quinn is a stripper. You know, it, It's the same style of artwork. It, it's a very original story. Uh, there is no Batman in this story. It's just, it revolves around the Joker and um, the villains. So, very cool stories. Uh, I would I would recommend getting either Batman Noel, Noel or Joker with art by Lee Mar Bermejo. Um, if you have the chance. Uh, get it for the geek in your life for Christmas or buy it for yourself. Uh, very good stories. And that leads me to the final comic in this Christmas uh, Christmas gift guide for the geek in your life. Green Lantern number 109 from February 1999. Uh, now this story is not for kids. Um, well... Maybe it'd be for kids, depending on if the kid had been through uh, the type of situation that Jade had gone through in this story. Uh, it's a very, very dark story. Um, I can see it... I could see it giving... A child who's been through this situation uh, strength uh, maybe helping them help them get help um, I just read it this morning I was going through my comics trying to find Christmas related or winter related comic books and I came across came across this one I hadn't read it until this morning and I thought you know what this really would be maybe not a good Christmas story. Yeah, it is a Christmas story, but it's a it would be a good gift to any child or even any adult who has gone through this. Um it does involve, as you can tell here, you got a man in the background, Jade, who at the time took over as Green Lantern for her boyfriend, Kyle Rayner, when he left for outer space to rebuild the Green Lantern Corps for the first time, which was eventually unsuccessful. But uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, Jade is the daughter of Alan Scott, the original Green Lantern, uh, along with her brother, uh, 
I forget his uh, actual name, but it's Obsidian. If you guys remember, he was in an episode of DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, played an older version of himself, really. Uh, but they didn't know... They didn't find their father until years later after they had grown up. Uh, they didn't even find each other until years later. Uh, Jade never knew who her parents were until she was grown up. She was put up for an adoption. Uh, she lived in an orphanage where the it was an all-girl orphanage and there's this janitor uh, who used to torment the girls at night after everyone else had gone to sleep he'd choose one to I, I'm not going to go super into it um, but she real when she's out Christmas shopping with her brother Obsidian um, they're talking and all of a sudden she hears that voice uh, the same voice she heard all those years ago have you been a good girl this Christmas uh, and of course it's Santa Claus, uh, a mall Santa. Um, there's a little girl on his lap, and she, immediately she realizes who it is, and she goes into Green Lantern mode. Uh, she changes into Green Lantern, and she flies away. She pulls the little girl off of him and takes him away. Um, it's a really good story about the effects uh what something like that can do to a person uh and what goes through their mind they never actually get rid of it but this is a story that would if you know someone who's experienced i i'm sure you guys can tell what i'm referring to without me actually saying it um but if you know someone who's experienced a situation like this uh, this would be a good comic for them uh, to maybe help them open up uh, help them seek help um, help them to recover um, there's never really any getting over it. I have someone in my life, a few people in my life who have gone through this. Um, there is never really any getting over it. But this would be a good story to give them to help. Um, and that's Green Lantern number 109 from February 1999. Ghosts of Christmas Past. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, something a little bit different. Um, that I don't really do too often. Uh, I'm not really going to do any editing for this video. It is what it is. I'm just going to throw it up. Uh, it's just comic book gift guide. If you like me doing videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I got plenty of comics I can uh, do more videos like this on. Uh, leave your comments, good or bad, in the comments. Um, give us a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you like this video so you don't miss out on future videos right here on Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone, and take care.